As you may know, Sharp uh, previewed a, uh, this compact 8K camera at, at CES, and so today or this week at NAB, um, we're introducing the 8K camera to the market. We call this one the 8C B30A. This camera is scheduled to come out later this year, and will have a price point in the U.S. of under $4,000. It has this articulating 5.5 inch touch LCD display, which is really nice. It's a uh, micro four thirds lens mount. It's a four thirds size 16 by nine sharp CMOS. So we can record in 8K up to 30 frames per second. I could also record in 4K and HD up to 60 frames per second. Currently we're providing uh, H.265 and uh, we're looking at others. And so uh, that's at um, 420, currently at 8-bit, but at production we're probably going to have 10-bit. So on the side here, you can see we have a microphone and a headphone in and out. I have a USB Type-C connector. Um, this is a mini HDMI, but we'll have a full HDMI in there, as well as a, a mini XLR. So the uh, USB Type-C is for you know, offline storage. So while I'm recording, if I want to get additional storage time, I could hook this up to a, an external uh, hard drive. This is uh, a production prototype, but we've been using it at night um, around Las Vegas, and uh, it's been really doing well. It's uh, been uh, getting uh, 30 minutes of video onto the 64 gigabyte um, SD card um, and a couple of hours of shooting time. At this time, we haven't announced the ISO range. Um, a little bit later this spring or this summer, um, we'll finalize the ISO range. This one really only has the on-off switch and the record button. All of the other operations um, will be from this touchscreen LCD. So this particular model um, does shoot and record but doesn't have the full menu system yet. Um, it is a production prototype. We'll be getting production prototype updates just about every month over the next uh, four or five months, and each one will add new menu functionality to it. What you're looking at right now is our Sharp 8K display, which is connected by um, HDMI 2.1 um, and displaying the B30 image on the screen there. So you're getting a sample of the 8K image quality. Um, which we think is beautiful. Um, you could also see on the left and right the limited menu function. That does not represent the final menuing design, but it's just the features that we offered um, in order to get the basic functionality available for NAB this year. I would say maybe one of the biggest things that, that's taking place now that we recognize is an education process. People were caught so off guard about having access to an 8K camera that they weren't even really sure what they would do with it. And so you get a wide range of views and opinions. Everybody has an opinion, um, but we're trying to let the camera and the technology speak for itself. Um, it is possible to capture, um, and we're showing right next door, you can even edit in 8K. Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, uh, Grass Valley, DaVinci Resolve. Most of the apps have a way of dealing with 8K. It's usually proxy files. Um, that's the, the best way to deal with large file formats because that's really what the issue is, right, is you have a large file. However, this camera shooting at 30 frames per second at 420, actually the file size, as you notice, is, is uh, quite reasonable, right? I'm getting 30 minutes on a 64 gigabyte SD card, right? So it's not as uh, aggressive as shooting at 422 um, or at 60 or 120 frames per second where you have terabytes of data that you have to deal with. Um, so we think we, we struck a nice balance of getting the benefits of 8K in this camera, um, but uh, reducing the spec enough so we can get the price point down and then also the file size manageable so that folks can shoot in 8K and then produce some really wonderful 4K videos and HD videos, right? Reframing, recropping, virtual pan, virtual zoom.